Looks like we're ready. First things first, this is a game like no other. Here, the only thing you need to know is each other. That's because this game is all about you. Let me show you how it works. This here is a choice selection of my finest probes, inquiries, and challenges. You'll need to answer them with remarkable honesty and insight. The more people that agree with you, the more of these tokens you'll collect. Then, we've got these jokers. Play one of these babies if you're really sure how everyone's gonna answer, and if you're right, boom, double points. We're gonna be hopping around from place to place, sharing experiences, because I really feel like life is all about shared experiences. Okay, if you're all ready, let's start our journey right now. There has never been a better time to take a trip into the mind-melting possibilities of time travel. Okay, and to start off with, I'm gonna ask you a question. You just have to tell me which one of you is the answer. Who'd buy a 50 quid time machine from eBay? Time to choose, people. Now, the more people who agree with you, the better you'll do. Looks like we've got our answer. Two of you get points for this one. Who'd travel back and accidentally stop their parents getting together? We're just about done, guys. Let's see what everyone thinks. Points for two of you there. The lead has been taken. Who'd take a lighter back to the Stone Age and live as a god? Let's see what you thought. Points for all who agreed. Everyone's having a tough time catching first. You seem like the kind of person who'd put their shopping list in a spreadsheet. Interesting. I want to know more. This next question's gonna use some pictures that I picked up along the way, so just bear with me a moment. What time period would they most like to visit? Okay, you just have to pick the image that best answers the question. Uh, the more you agree, the more points you win. Let's see what everyone thought. This next one's a writing challenge. You have to tell me how this person would finish this sentence. If I had a time machine, I'd... You've got 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Only ten seconds left. Just about done now. Time to see what you all wrote.
Pick which answer you think is best. What did you go with? Wow, it's a two-way split. A nice boost for everyone's score there. Wow, well done, both of you. Nice joker usage. We've got two players in the lead. But for how long? Okay, we're gonna play a game now where we doodle all over photos. So, first, one of you needs to snap someone striking a pose. It helps if you really get into it. So, come on, up on your feet, people. Draw them as a mad inventor. I could see myself as a mad inventor. I've already come up with three ingenious ideas that would improve everyone's lives. One, the monotooth. Get all your teeth extracted and then insert the monotooth, a single long artificial tooth that'll last a lifetime. <laughs> no more dentists. Two, the baby muzzle. Self-explanatory. Babies can be noisy. Three, shark-repelling trunks. Time to start putting those finishing touches on. We've got 30 to go. You've got about 20 seconds left. Okay, 10 seconds left. Okay, guys, only five seconds left. Ooh, okay, cool. Let's have a look at your masterpieces. scored on this one. Ho oh, oh, ho! It's all changed at the top. Time to slip out of this reality and into the next. your back with lotion and see who's around to rub it in. We are heading to the beach. Looks like you've all earned yourselves a shiny new joker. Okay, you know the drill. I ask the questions, you tell me who it is. Who'd strut along the beach in their leopard skin? Oh. Everyone gets some points. Ain't we a room of wise guys? I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker. Who'd pretend to drown for some mouth-to-mouth -mouth lifeguard action? There's really no point in trying it, to be honest. Uh, Roscoe gave it a shot, but all he got was a bit of unwanted attention off a sturgeon. Let's see the results of this one. Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> that deserves extra jokers all round. Who's most likely to bring a metal detector to the beach? The metal detector was invented so players who find the tooth could locate where in the garden the games master had buried the teeth that had metal crowns. 
I hope everyone's sure about their answers. Points go to two of you. Come on, everybody. You can still catch up to first. Who's most likely to catch crabs at the beach? Hmm. Yeah, Honduras, 94. All going so well until that moment. And now, for the fun part. Big points for the group. I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker. Okay, now we're gonna turn our attention to someone who believes that dot to dot means dot to dot, not dot to near dot, dot to dot. Here's another picture question. What sand castle would they build? That photo with the flowers? Roscoe made that as a birthday cake for John. His favorite earthworm? <laughs> Unfortunately, a crow got to John before he reached it. I think we have an answer. Here's some points for everyone who agreed. Now this next one requires a certain degree of creativity. I'm gonna give you a background picture and you need to add something to it. Draw their ice cream. According to NASA, ice cream is one of the three things most missed by astronauts on space missions. The other two are cleaning hairs from drains and dinghy rides. Neil Armstrong allegedly loved dinghy rides and he actually owned his own dinghy. He named it Michael Collins, ha, ha, ha. You've got about 40 seconds left. Thirty seconds remaining. Twenty seconds to go. Think about wrapping up. We've got ten seconds to go. All right, five seconds left. Let's see what you've drawn. Let's see what you picked. And it's a split vote. Everyone wins on this one. Okay, guys, this one's real simple. I'm gonna slap down a photo, and you all need to do an impression of it, and bing, snap yourselves doing it. All right, mimic this picture. All right, let's have them. You all get points for that one. You guys can have an extra joker for being so in sync.
Okay, looks like we got sand everywhere. Let's go hose down. Okay, for those that are pacing themselves, we're about halfway through. Think we'll celebrate our new surroundings with a fresh joker all around. Here comes the next question. Who'd manage to sneak into a festival for free? My buddy Roscoe got into a festival for free by pretending to be a security guard. All he had to do was usher people in and out for three days, patrol the site at night, and clean up all the litter. Two pools of right right there. Who'd enjoy festivals more if they weren't so damn full of people? Looks like we've got our answer. Toot toot to the two that threw down jokers. Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> that deserves extra jokers all round. God, I love looking at your face. I really do. It's such an earthy, honest face. Just want to see if it stays honest after these questions. Here's another picture question. What would they be doing at a festival? See what everyone thinks. Uh, two of you are in points here. The deadly duo of Joker flipping. Now let's do another writing challenge. As before, think what this person would say here. To get right to the front of the main stage, I just. You've got 30 seconds left. Okay, let's see what you've come up with. See what you thought. The Joker worked for one of you, but not so much for the other. Things could still change at any moment. Time for another doodle. One of you needs to take a photo of someone else, and then we can get started. Draw them as a hippie. Man, I remember those crazy days of the 60s. <sighs> Summer love, Woodstock, limited washing. I say, remember. What I mean is I've read all about it. In 67, I wasn't even a dangerous glint in my father's eye. 
He was probably too busy fondling sitars and inserting his flowers into a soldier's barrels. 40 seconds to go. Just 30 left. Twenty seconds left. Only ten seconds left. Just about done now. Time to see what you've come up with. Let's see what everyone thought. All right, everyone maxed out. I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker. Okay, I think we need a detox. It's time to leave the festival behind. Remember a time when you were allowed to wear three layers of denim, manhandle a teenager, and eat your own body weight and pink sugar? Good, because we're heading there now. I'm going to give you all an extra joker now. But bear in mind that we're nearly done, so make sure you're using them all up. Time for another question about all of you. Who'd make out with a ride attendant for a free ticket? I remember Brenda, who ran the hoopla stall. <laughs> I didn't just go home with a near-dead goldfish that night. What did you go with? You guys can have an extra joker for being so in sync. Who'd ask whether the hot dogs are organic? I wonder if there's something out there that nobody's ever eaten at a festival. Hmm. A whole pumpkin? <laughs> this should be good. Nobody wins! Who'd release more than just a scream on the ghost train? Ghost trains are often ruined by the very prominent and well-lit exit signs. You never saw that in Dracula's castle. Let's see the results of this one. Two of you get points for this one. As everyone else seems to have a handle on you, I'd like to ask a couple more questions and see if I can get my handle on you, too. If that's okay with you. Let's do a picture one now. What would they gorge themselves on at the fun fair? Okay, guys, only five seconds left. I hope everyone's sure about their answers. The phrase, there's always one, clearly does not apply here. Full points to all. Wow, well done, both of you. Nice joker usage. Let's do another drawing. 
just like before, theme the picture to suit the person it's about. What kind of creature have they won? Which creature is best? You know, talking of creatures, it never ceases to amaze me that you can go to a zoo and adopt an animal and then go to the zoo cafe and eat an identical one. Obviously, I'm not talking about lions and tigers and stuff here. Unless we're talking about a hugely illicit and immoral zoo. No, I'm talking about pigs and cows and lobsters. You know, that sort of thing. And crabs, I guess. Oh, and I suppose some zoos have shrimp. I don't know if you can adopt a shrimp. Thirty seconds remain. There's about twenty seconds to go. All right, guys, come on. Ten seconds left. All right, five seconds left. All right, what do we got? And now for the fun part. A magnificent momentary meeting of minds for most. Quite a lot of points going around there. Posers to the fore now as we play the Mimic Game. Mimic this picture. Okay, time to unveil your impressions. A nice boost for everyone's score there. I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker. Okay, last ride's gone. Time to head out of here. Here we go, guys. The grand finale. First, you're all gonna take selfies. Then, you're gonna draw all over them and turn them into beautiful pictures. Okay, selfie away. Uh, not too close or people won't be able to apply their genius. All happy? Let's go. Brace yourselves, a selfie's on the way. Check out the picture and get thinking about what you're gonna do. We're about to start. Make it count now. We're gonna be switching it up soon. Twenty seconds to go.
Think about wrapping up. We've got 10 seconds to go. Just about done now. Think you've done enough on that one. Time to mix it up. As you can see, it's on its way. Take it in and get ready to sprinkle some magic. Twenty seconds left. Only ten seconds left. Okay, guys, only five seconds left. Make this one count, sweet cheeks. This is the final shuffle. Okay, guys, work your magic. There's about 20 seconds to go. All right, guys, come on. 10 seconds left. All right, five seconds left. That's it. Let's take a look at what you've all created. I think we have an answer. You guys know the drill. Points to everyone who agreed. Time to check the final standings. In last place is someone who loves being with their favorite friends and family, just standing there smiling with fingers in their ears, learning nothing, nothing. In third is someone who cannot look at a silhouette of two peaches and a cucumber without seeing something rude. You have an unerringly precise vision of the world and you understand fully the inner desires of man, but it wasn't enough to win the day. And so to our winner. I know you're happiest with a fork in one hand and a beer in the other, but you may have to put one of those down to hold the trophy you've just earned. Congratulations, buddy. I enjoyed that. Keep on rocking, guys. I'll see you soon. All right, you ready to go for a little ride? Now, before we begin, you guys need to pick yourselves a card and write in your name so I know who's who. And that should buy me enough time to jimmy the locks on this thing. Take your time, guys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. When you're ready to continue, let me know. Looks like we're ready. First things first, 
This is a game like no other. Here, the only thing you need to know is each other. Okay, if you're all ready, let's start our journey right now. Okay, grab your spades, we're going digging. But in the garden of your mind. Okay, time to start with the questions. These are real simple. You just have to tell me who the answer is. Who'd give names to all the plants in their garden? All right, who's it gonna be? Remember, the more of you that agree, the more points you'll get. Let's see what you picked. Points for two of you there. Who'd recite fire safety rules before lighting the barbecue? You want to make sure that your chicken is fully cooked. Before transferring it to the barbecue, give it 10 minutes on top of a burning mattress. Hey, you may not like it, bud, but they got your number. And here's some points for the folks who agreed. We have a new leader! Who would concrete over their lawn to keep it low maintenance? Not me. I love getting outside and experiencing a real garden. Comfy chair, smooth drink from the cooler, Wi-Fi. Yes. Looks like we've got our answer. And the lead has been taken. Now I get the feeling that you're an outstanding leader with a sunshine smile, but I need to make sure. Ah, cool. Uh, for this next one, we're going to be using some pictures. What would they get up to in their garden? Go for whichever pick you think's the best answer. And remember, you score more when you agree more. Let's see what everyone thinks. And it looks like two of you scored on this one. You know that friend that never seems to know what's going on? They're in the lead. Now, for this one, I want all of you to step into this person's shoes. I'm going to give you a sentence, and you write down what they'd say next. Come over to my garden and check out my new... Thirty seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Just ten seconds to go. Time to see what you all wrote. So, which answer is the best? Points for all who agreed. Nice use of a joker there. Well, oh, we've got a two-way tie at the top. This next game's all about your inner doodler. So, one of you is gonna take a photo of someone posing and then you're all gonna draw all over it.
draw them as a garden gnome. You know, the first garden gnome was modeled on a photo of Santa Claus at a later hosing convention. There's 40 seconds remaining. You've got 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Okay, ten seconds left. Almost done, guys. Ooh, okay, cool. Let's have a look at your masterpieces. Let's see what you thought. Points go to two of you. Now that joker suggests that air of innocence may be a facade. And we've got a new leader. Well, the roses look great, and that garden gnome's a doozy. So, let's move on. Okay, guys, uh, tap your feet, and I'll count you in. We're getting musical. I'm gonna give you all an extra joker now. All right, so same as before, I ask the questions, and you tell me who's most likely to be the answer. If you all started learning an instrument today, who'd give up first? Who would learn the weirdest instrument? My kazoo rendition of Sympathy for the Devil is world class. Let's see what everyone thought. You can only play a joker that brave when your destiny is to lead all men. Who totally suits the saxophone? Roscoe was the perfect sax player in our band, The Vinegar Strokes. What did you go with? Let me know when you're ready to move on. Who'd be secretly amazing at an instrument and never talk about it? <laughs> this should be good. Hey, why don't we take a break here and get to know our sociable friend a little bit better. Now, time for another picture question. 
which instrument suits them the best. Hmm. Okay. What well, looks like that one applied to more than one of you. Everyone gets some points. There's a two-way battle for supremacy. This next game draws out your inner artist. I'm gonna slap down a picture and you need to embellish it. Draw how they would decorate their guitar. This here is my first guitar, Cracker. Couldn't stand the sheer whiteness of it. Not its color, its target demographic. I can't play Muddy Waters on that, I urged my mom. Shush, darling, finish your quinoa wrap, she replied. You've got about 40 seconds left. Thirty seconds remaining. Twenty seconds to go. Okay, sharpen up. Let's see what you've drawn. Five seconds left. Here's some points for everyone who agreed. Time to find out who's the mimic in the room. I'm gonna show you guys a photo of someone or something and you have to photograph yourselves imitating it. Mimic this picture. Just 10 seconds to go. Cool, let's see what you got. Let's see the results of this one. Hmm, well, can't all be right. Or can you? Big points for the group. We won't get the A&R man in quite yet, but there's potential there. Anything can still happen, guys. We're only halfway through. Looks like you've all earned yourselves a shiny new Joker. Here comes the next question. Who'd go so far undercover, they'd forget their real name? You can't trust anyone at Undercover Cops Anonymous. I hope everyone's sure about their answers. Hey, nobody ever said there had to be one winner. They did? Screw them.
don't let their look of innocence deceive you. They're in the lead now, and they intend to stay there. Who'd confess they were a cop the second they were challenged? I could be undercover now, but how would you know? I'm not, but I could be. I might be, though. I'm not. I could be. And now, for the fun part. Quite a lot of points going around there. Enjoying the view and basking in their newfound glory at the top is our leader. Buddy, I know that you suffer internal turmoil and humiliation on a daily basis. So, this is right up your street. Here's another picture question. How would they look infiltrating a gang of Hell's Angels? That older guy can't go anywhere unless he has a representation of the Japanese flag with him. I think we have an answer. Here's another chance to put words in someone's mouth. I'm essential to the mission because I can... Thirty seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Okay, let's see what you've come up with. Everyone wins on this one. Toot toot to the two that threw down jokers. Two guys can have an extra joker for being so in sync. We've got two players in the lead, but for how long? Drawing time, ah, but first, one of you needs to take a photo of someone else. Draw them as a mafia crime boss. If I was a crime boss, I'd ditch the suit. Can't do business in a suit. I'd be the flip-flop Don. Just under 40 seconds to go. You've got 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Okay, 10 seconds left. Only five seconds left. All right, boom, what do we got?
two by two by two by two by two. Well, we've got a two-way tie at the top. I'm afraid your cover's been blown. It's time to rejoin your old life. I hope you've all got nimble fingers and deep pockets. We're heading for the amusement arcade. I'm giving you another joker now, but use it quick. We're nearly out of time. Time for another question about all of you. Who would treat a gun game like a real war? I used to put on camouflage clothes when I played gun games, but mom would make me slip on a high-vis vest so she'd know where I was. Let's see what you picked. Wow, it's like sports team picking time again. To some, it seems like chaos, but the player of that Joker, it's just the complex interaction of simple systems. There's a two-way battle for supremacy. Who could complete Space Invaders on a single life? If the Space Invaders landed, what could they actually achieve? All they seem to do is put their arms in the air like they just don't care. Looks like we've got our answer. Ooh, double trouble! Who'd make car noises on the racing game? Cars go brum brum, and convertible ones are dangerous for heads of state. That's pretty much my complete knowledge of cars. Almost done, guys. We were looking for the wise one. It looks like we found you. You guys know the drill. Points to everyone who agreed. They're not after accolades, but they sure are at the top. Our new leader. Who jogged the pinball table when a friend's on the top score? Now, if you can't afford your own pinball machine, get a friend to throw a marble up a ramp, then use a pair of chopsticks as flippers. Uh, two of you earned points here. Only one person possessed the self-assured confidence to lay down their joker there, and it paid off beautifully. Okay, before this all gets too lowbrow, I'm bringing this round to the intellectual of the group. Let's do a picture one now. Which arcade game would they be playing? And here's some points for the folks who agreed. And they're still out in front, proving they are anything but ordinary. Drawing time! I'll give you a picture, and you guys finish it off. Draw what they would want to hook on the claw crane. The way claw cranes are obviously rigged really works my nerves. Nothing gets me angrier than not winning a cuddly toy I never wanted. There's 40 seconds remaining.
30 seconds remaining. Twenty seconds to go. Okay, sharpen up. Ten seconds left. Five seconds left. All right. What do we got? I'll get points for that one. I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker. Okay, imitators, time to shine. Here's another picture for you to reenact. Mimic this picture. Just 10 seconds to go. All right, what do we got here? for this one. Ah, that's the last of our quarters gone. Let's go. We've only got time for one more game, but you're gonna love it. You all need to snap a selfie. Not too close, though, as you're gonna be scrawling all over them. Seeing something you like? Yeah, well, when you're ready, we can get drawing. out now a highly dubious selfies on its way okay take a peep at your canvas you are about to get busy you're not gonna have much time as we're gonna pass the picture along to the next person in a few moments Twenty seconds left. Okay, ten seconds left. Only five seconds left. Beautiful work. What can you add to the next one? Okay, guys. Put your lamps on this and see what you can bring to the table. We're about to start back up. Twenty seconds left. Okay, sharpen up. 10 seconds left. Almost done, guys.
This is the final shuffle, guys. Make it count. <laughs> Here it is. Get adding to it. Twenty seconds to go. Just ten seconds to go. Five seconds left. Out of time. Can't wait to see him. Let's see what everyone thinks. Well, what do you know, buddy? It's you. Points for all who agreed. All right, let's see how everyone did. If our last place finisher woke up tomorrow as a baby goat, they'd be absolutely delighted and rightly so. In third place is someone with the insight and wisdom of a philosopher, and perhaps also the social skills. If I told the runner-up a shaggy dog story, the whole way through they'd just be thinking about combing out all those doggy knots. This is sensational, huh, Victor? Yesterday you were the butt of everyone's jokes, and I include strangers in that. Today, you're on top of the world. Congratulations! You're the best group of players I have had yet. And I'm not just saying that because you're sitting right there. Let's play again soon. All right, you ready to go for a little ride? Now, before we begin, you guys need to pick yourselves a card and write in your name so I know who's who. And that should buy me enough time to jimmy the locks on this thing. Take your time, guys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. When you're ready to continue, let me know. Looks like we're ready. First things first. This is a game like no other. Here, the only thing you need to know is each other. That's because this game is all about you two. Let me show you how it works. Now this here is a big pile of my beautiful questions that I'm gonna ask you. You need to answer them as honestly as you can. The more you both agree on the answers, the more of these tokens you'll collect. Then, we've got these jokers. 
Play one of these babies if you're really sure what the answer is. And if you've both agreed, then you'll earn double points. And you see here, we're gonna be hopping around from place to place, sharing experiences. Cause I really feel like life is all about shared experiences. Okay, if you're both ready, let's start our journey right now. Ah, the gentle rocking of the carriage, the beautiful vistas out of the window. We're all set for a wonderful train trip. This is the dilemma game. I'm gonna put one of you in the middle and pose a teaser. You both have to decide what they do eh, without conferencing. An attractive stranger falls asleep on their shoulder. Uh, would they gently nudge them off, attractive or not? Or leave them to nestle down? Okay, let's see what they do. You all get nothing this round. The attractive person sits up and loudly complains about being woken. Would they calmly explain that it wasn't comfortable? Or angrily ask them who the hell they think they are? Let's see what you thought. Sorry, nobody's getting points here. The stranger gets angrier, and the whole carriage is now staring. Would they stay seated? Why should they have to move? Or grab their bags and run to the next carriage? Let's see what everyone thought. Nice one, you two. Hey, nice boost to the score there. Now this next one requires a certain degree of creativity. I'm gonna give you a background picture and you need to add something to it. Draw who they would let fall asleep on their shoulder. This is gonna go one of two ways. You're either gonna draw someone hot they'd want brushing up against them, or someone not hot at all, as a way of highlighting the poor standards and judgment of your game rival. Either choice is fine by me. I once went from LA to Beijing with a Chinese Elvis impersonator sleeping like a baby upon me, his head nestled in my lap. The wig fell off five hours across the Pacific, though. You've got about 40 seconds left. Let's see what you've drawn. What did you go with? Yep, you're agreed on that one. And... Here are some points for that one. Okay guys, this one's real simple. I'm gonna slap down a photo and you all need to do an impression of it and bing, snap yourselves doing it. Mimic this picture. Cool. Let's see what you got. Looks like nobody's getting anything. I see the station ahead. Let's leave this unfortunate event behind us.
You know sometimes how luck just seems to land in your lap? This is a bit like that. We're gonna flip it now and see what you'd do. Their mom's diary lies open on a table. Would they read it? They know it's wrong, but how can they resist? Or it's tempting, but no way would they invade mom's privacy. <laughs> this should be good. Nobody wins! Oh, and a joker to add insult to injury. Well, never mind, guys. And what would they hope to find in there? What mom really thinks of them? Or if mom has any juicy secrets? Let's see the results of this one. You all get nothing this round. They read a revelation that would tear the family apart. Would they keep it to themselves, but watch mom like a hawk? Or immediately confront mom and deal with the fallout? I hope everyone's sure about their answers. That's the one. Some sweet points there. Let's do another drawing. Just like before, theme the picture to suit the person it's about. Draw what they found in mom's bedside drawer. When I was a little kid, I found a model skyscraper in my mom's drawer. So I took it out, placed it upright on the floor, and drove some of my toy cars around it. Then there was a bit of a commotion and I got pulled off. boost to the score there. Time for some face acrobatics. As before, I'll give you a photo and you have to replicate it. Mimic this picture. got here. I think we have an answer. And here are some points for that one. Time to weigh up your tokens and find out how well you know each other. Hey, listen, I'm gonna level with you, you didn't score great, but the good news is no one's to blame because it was both your fault. That's all, folks. Here's hoping our paths cross again soon.
All right, you ready to go for a little ride? Now, before we begin, you guys need to pick yourselves a card and write in your name so I know who's who. And that should buy me enough time to jimmy the locks on this thing. Take your time, guys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> 